Hello, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have some beautiful people here live with me on the world of Zoom. And then, of course, um, this is now going to be up on YouTube. And they know that if they say anything, they're going to jump and be on the world of YouTube. So my name is Jean Collins. And literally, I used to get sick all the time and have a... Um, well, really kind of started with a sinus infection, then I would go to flu, then sometimes I'd get into pneumonia and then bronchitis. Like it was just like a constant thing. So, um, and I, and I grew up raised to eat organic, you know, be healthy. Uh, we did a lot of Chinese medicine and homeopathics, but the one thing that um, we didn't really know uh, or my mom didn't realize was there's a lot of toxins. So um, when we found Young Living Essential Oils, we also discovered uh, more information on the Toxic Substance Control Act that was released in 1976. And I always encourage everyone to go look up that act, look at the ingredients on their products, like what is the ingredients? And um, kind of compare and if something's long like if you're like oh i can't even pronounce this then look it up and get some info on it uh sometimes like uh sodium bicarbonate is i'm pretty sure it's either baking soda or baking wash you know so like that's the chemical name right so that's why i also mentioned toxic versus chemical because technically even us were chemical right h2o water is a chemical h2o that's just we call it water but the chemical is h2o so just to kind of like think of that and i use young living essential oils because we have over 14 farms internationally and my little book is not there because it's all at my i have a big event this weekend it's at my expo corner of my house where i'm going to be packing up all my stuff so go to seed2seal.com. You'll find the link below, seed2seal.com. And check out that beautiful uh, website and all of our farms. It's amazing and life-changing. And I've actually planted lavender and helichrysum and clarity sage. So it's really cool when you plant it. And then when you buy it later and you're like, oh my God, is this from the plant that I planted, right? Um, so, so that's why I specifically do Young Living and why I also talk about toxins. Now, this is a DIY event. So I'm going to be making a toner, a room spray, and a baking soak or, you know, a bath salts. And with all of this, you guys will also hear the toxins we're going to be removing and not using and the importance of removing those toxins and what those toxins affect. Um, Okay, so I am actually, I'm going to start with, oh yeah, I want to start with the baking soak, uh, or bath soak, which you do use baking soda. I use, so in a jar, I'll fill it up like a third or a quarter, roughly a, a quarter to a third of baking soda because baking soda is really good for removing toxins. Let's see. Of course, this one is coming out and close. So it's really good for removing toxins and detoxing in general. Um, also with a, a lot of, uh, when I was researching uh, bath soak, uh, Epsom, like um, you didn't use Epsom salt and Epsom salt is amazing. But a lot of the, the things that I was searching online, they all had the word fragrance. And I, if you've seen any of my classes on Zoom or been to any of my classes, you guys know that the word fragrance is not your friend. It's actually something you should highly avoid because that is way away companies don't have to tell you what's in the product. And that to me is wrong. I want to know exactly what's in all of my products so that I know what's in them and I know what's going on my body 
as well as, um, because usually what we're putting on our body is also gonna be absorbed through our skin. And our skin is a part of our elimination system. However, it doesn't have like a filter out, like the liver. The liver through our digestive system has the, that's the filter, right? The liver and actually the gallbladder. So, but you wanna be really aware of um, with the liver, Oh, look, I got a piece of, there we go. With um, your liver and your digestive system of doing cleanses, it's so important to do a cleanse. So just think about that. It's roughly about a third, maybe a little less, but that's all right. We'll add more later. And then um, you can add your essential oils. Now for this, this one, I chose Believe. Because believe is really good for like emotionally, just to help you relax and get rooted in into yourself and into your own beliefs, right? Um, so that's what I love about believe essential oil. And I'm gonna do in this jar, I'm gonna do five drops. I think actually that was six, but I'm gonna do six drops. And this is about like a 16 ounce. You can always add more or less. And depending on um, the essential oil, blend you choose, you're gonna want to add more or less because some have high notes or low notes. Um, so just be aware of that. Yeah, I was like, note to self, do not need the, just so you guys know too, Epsom salt easily comes out of your beautiful funnel. Baking soda, if it isn't stuck in balls like mine was, it was not coming out of the funnel very easily, just so you know. So I already have like a little star on this one and I'm not doing multiple jars of my soak right now. I'm just making one for you guys to, to see. And you can smell it to see if you're like, hey, also shake it a little bit. I believe it's kind of a little bit lighter of a scent. So I went with five drops, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another three drops. Obviously I'm adding it to the top. So I'll let it soak over and sit overnight. I might not have needed to do that, um, but it's just what I felt like doing. So then, Actually, I said it was six and then I, because I counted six. So it's probably nine, either eight or nine drops total in this jar for Believe. And like I said, each oil is going to be a little bit different, especially like Believe is already a blend of essential oils. But you could do like patchouli and lavender or lavender and orange. I do a lot of lavender in my bath soaps because oil and water do not mix. So, um, and that's one of the reasons why you have the emulsifier, right? Salt, Epsom salt and baking soda are the emulsifier. That means it spreads out in the water. Um, and that's, that's so, because the oil and water doesn't mix. So a lot of the time when I'm doing a bath soak, I wanna do like either tree oils or um, flowers, cause those are more chill oils. Or if I will do like a citrus, then I'll do like two drops of lemon or orange and then four drops of lavender or geranium or something or, or tea tree or well, something like that, right? That way, like I don't really do a lot of like oregano or thyme or marjoram. Like I, I would kind of avoid those for a bath soap just because they are hotter oils. Now I might use an empty bottle. So I'm showing you guys this. This is for, for usually myself. I, I would not get, give this as a gift, but if some of you are kind of like, you can see my bottles in there, I think, yeah, at least a lid. And um, let's see, and there's a bottle. So like that's, a, these are old bottles, but, and they're technically empty, right? I can't physically get out any more essential oil that just doesn't it's not coming out right but obviously this one I can but when it is empty 
and there's no oil left. Like this one has no oil left. I'll take off the top, right? And the orifice, and then I'll throw this into um, the jar. So that, that's another way that you can just let, and then let those empty jars sit overnight. And you can make a whole bunch of this yourself. Like I have about 50 empty bottles of essential oil. And then with that Epsom salt, just throw it in, in your water. Again, I mean, it's up to you and your family and whatnot, but that's how I do it usually for me or Nate. Whereas if I'm giving a gift, I'm just going to use the drops, right? And then, of course, you're going to go and um, decorate all of these beautiful things with some stickers or like I have something that talks about the bath soak right so I can put this label on here you probably want to label what it is before you put it on the jar it'll be easier I'm just gonna put a b for believe because I'll remember that um and because it's the only one I made tonight so the next item is going to be uh, our beautiful room spray. So with our room spray, I know you guys can see this is an old one. I gotta relabel it, but I will do um, uh, again like three fourths of water, right, and then a fourth of either witch hazel or vodka or some sort of spirits, right? Um, whatever you guys want to do. And I have this cute little fun, uh, yeah, funnel. So it's easier and it fits. And so with a room spray, a lot of room sprays, again, it's, you're gonna have the word fragrance, but something that could be in there are plantheras. And plantheras um, are hormone disruptors. They cause hormone issues. They either alter the development of the genitals, right? So if you've got kids, be aware of that. Or they lower sperm count or um, they just like mess with your endocrine system in general, right? The hormones, endocrine system. So we wanna avoid polenthras. Perfect. Um, so make sure to be looking at your ingredients and avoiding those. I am choosing with this, to create an abundance room spray. Abundance is really good for um, abundance of money, love, joy, happiness. And in this size jar, which is about four ounces, I'm gonna do um, 10 drops. Uh, and then I realized I also did not give you guys the so abundance has orange frankincense patchouli clove ginger myrrh cinnamon and black spruce and so this is really good for like getting um like earthy and grounded but also really amazing for like attracting the wealth right Again, though, abundance is not just about money. It's also happiness, joy, anything. And if you study a law of attraction, so abundance is also considered the law of attraction oil. So whenever you use abundance essential oil, make sure you're really thinking about what you desire and not uh, something that's frustrating you or like if you're in a really frustrating mood. Because uh, then you're just going to be met with more frustration. That's really how the law of attraction works. So if you're really frustrated and that's what you're focusing on, then you'll get more frustration. And do I have, and then again, you would label it. Um, again, 
I'm leaving the abundance oil right next to it. So I know what, I, what I'm, what I have in there. Now with the rest of this witch hazel, I'm going to make a toner and it's literally just witch hazel. Witch hazel is a really good balancer. And the reason why you want to have a toner in your skincare regimen is because you want to balance back out your pH, especially on your face. Because we, many, at least I'm going to speak for myself and most women out there, but definitely for myself, I like having youthful looking skin. So I cleanse with a cleanser and then I have a toner and then I use a moisturizer. I at least do those three things. And then other times of the day or, you know, maybe every other night I'll add some other products for that. And Young Living does have an amazing toner in our art skincare system. So that's usually the one I use. Um, but I'm gonna make one tonight with Manuka, Lavender and Myrtle. And um, also some toners do have mineral oil in them. And mineral oil is actually from petroleum oil. Petroleum oil is no good. Petroleum oil is from the earth, from engine oil, from oil that we put in our car that, well, gas is really split up from that oil, but it's just, it's petroleum. So technically, if you really think about it, well, you're like, well, but there might be the argument that petroleum is from the earth, right? It's from dead dinosaurs, but it's not good for us, right? Just because it's technically is from the earth does not mean it's good for us. So um, Manuka is really good for your skin, especially for uh, any troublesome areas. So um, just to kind of balance out, I'm gonna put five drops of Manuka into this beautiful, um, and this one's actually pretty thin or pretty thick. Let me see if I can find the right, Okay, I'm also gonna get my skilled, my skilled self out. Only for skilled essential oilers. When it starts to get low, you can take off the orifice and take the drops and put the drops in. Oh. All right, well, that was only two drops because apparently that was a lot less than what I thought. So that's only two drops of Manuka. Let's see. And this is probably um, about four ounces. And I'm doing four drops of lavender. And I will do uh, three drops of myrtle. Smells amazing. And I chose lavender, myrtle, and manuka because they all have good, um, good face. Like I said, manuka is really good for any troublesome areas. Uh, lavender is also really good for troublesome areas uh, and just balancing in general. And myrtle is uh, a part of the ancient scripture oils. And with myrtle being a part of the ancient scripture oils, uh, most of those oils are really good for youthful looking skin, as well as myrtle is also really good for our thyroid. Uh, and your thyroid, right, is in your neck. So when you're putting on your toner, it's right near your thyroid. So that's what I, that's why I chose myrtle. They all have skin, uh, or all of those oils have skin supporting properties, which is, and youthful looking skin as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it with making gifts. The Young Living also has bath bombs themselves. Uh, bath soak is a little bit different than bath bombs. The bath bombs, uh, um, fuzz up. We actually, for the holidays, we have our maple. That's a new scent. Um, and then again, like I said, uh, we have the toner and, uh, we also, we do have the lavender cooling mist, but a lot of the room sprays we make ourselves like DIY. You can do a Christmas spirit room spray. 
thieves. It is more fall. A lot of the time people think of thieves as um, um, beyond immune support. I mean, thieves is great for our immune support, but thieves is also, it has cinnamon bark and clove. And a lot of the time people think of fall, you know, pumpkin pie. I actually have put thieves vitality in my pumpkin pie. Um, it's just, it was easier than doing nutmeg. Actually, I think I was out of nutmeg, but I had cinnamon bark and then I was out of clove and I was like, well, I got thieves. So might as well, it has cinnamon bark and clove and other good properties. So I'll just use that. So that's what I did. Little, little tidbit. If you run out of uh, nutmeg or something, just use thieves or clove and voila. All right. So I hope you guys can see the importance of removing those toxins. And I only gave you guys a short list. Talc, bismuth, nanoparticles. Nanoparticles should not be on our body. Nanoparticles are a man-made product. And we are not from, I mean, we're made from nature, from God, from Mother Earth, from the universe, whatever, you know. So we have to honor where we're coming from. And that's why essential oils are amazing because they are from nature as well. Um, and they have oxygenating properties. We use oxygen and they're really good for just helping all of our cells work synergistically. And can you guys see the importance of like joining my team and we do Zooms, we also do in-person classes. Uh, it's just whatever people's comfort level is at in the world of 2021. And with ordering, you can literally get all of these items and get free shipping. So the items being the Believe, Abundance, Myrtle, Lavender and Manuka, and you get free shipping. Now we do have gifts with purchase at 190 PV, which is usually $190. 250 PV and 300 PV for the month of November. Let's connect up. Um, we can chat about it. There's some really good ones like gathering this month. And um, so gathering essential oil as well as myrrh and it's actually a little five mil of believe and the gifts with purchase. Man, I think everyone should have believe. It's one of my favorites for sure. Um, so you could add other things like our toner, or just the art skincare system in general. Um, and that would help get you to that, those one of the first tiers of the beautiful gifts with purchase. And I'm going to shut off the recording. Thank you so much for the YouTubers. I'm gonna talk with those still live and chat with them. And um, I look forward to connecting with all of you. Thanks so much, bye-bye.